Coming up on this Thunder Girls Summer Special, we'll take a look at the week-long audition process culminating with the finals at Riverwind Casino. Then, a group of Thunder Girls represented the Thunder on a trip to China where they showcased their dance moves and their Thunder pride. And finally, we'll take a behind-the-scenes look at the making of the Thunder Girls calendar. All that and more coming up. Welcome to the Thunder Girls Summer Special. I'm Paige Carter, Thunder Girls Dance Team Manager and Choreographer. We're on location here at the 2013 Thunder Girls Swimsuit Calendar Shoot. The off season for the Thunder Girls always starts with auditions for next year's team. Here we are at the Thunder Event Center for day one of the Thunder Girl auditions. Once everyone registers, we're going to warm everybody up, stretch them out, and then we'll start learning a palm routine. We will go through eliminations after they audition it in groups of five. We never know exactly how many girls we're going to cut. It just goes off of how their performance goes and then the ones that make it get to move on to the next step. 90, 91, 97, 98, 101, 127, 170, and 176. We start our second cuts, and um, this will be across the floor technique. So I will teach them kicks, leaps, jumps, um, just stuff to travel across the floor. Um, like a typical jazz technique class. And then they will also learn a hip hop portion of dance. And this will get to show a different style and a different flavor than what they did in first cuts. A lot of good talent here, so I'm just hoping for the best. The bar's really high, so I'm just gonna have to perform even harder. Going into third cuts, we will teach them a jazz routine. They will audition that in groups of four. It's their final chance today to show us uh, their, not only dance technique, but their performance, their showmanship, their style, and what makes them unique, and why we should choose them as a finalist. We got a lot of good girls. I think it's going to be a tough one on Thursday. Today uh, was the interview portion of Thunder Girls auditions, and they came in a groups of five, and we interviewed each girl, just kind of asking them about themselves, what they do either professionally or as a student, maybe what their future goals are, um, you know, why they want to become a, a Thunder Girl. And it's just kind of, you know, getting to know them more than just a dancer and, and, you know, see why they're excited overall to be a part of this program. I'm actually Potawatomi Indian, so there's a lot of history of my family and my culture in this city. And I want to be a part of the history and the future of this area. So and with being dance, it's perfect for me. My confidence continues to grow, but my nerves still kick in every second. I actually thought it was easier and maybe because I've had a year off to kind of collect my thoughts and I practiced a lot more so it was definitely easier for me. We did a little bit of a photo shoot here today. I hope the pictures turn out good. You have to let me know how they look. <laughs> We had two different stations that we went to, one for the finals night and also one for the website. They were very good about helping us um, find poses and kind of directed us about what positions they needed us in and what photos they wanted to get. Um, I've never really done a lot of photo shoots. Actually, I never have done any, so I'm hoping that those went well. This is a long process. They are like very dedicated and they like want to pick the right girl that matches their organization, which I think it like shows like how dedicated the Thunder is to like having like a good face and wants like to represent them well. 
Hi guys, it's Wednesday and we're at Riverwind Casino on our way to dress rehearsal. And boot camp. Go. Go. Let's do this real quick. What they're doing here is called a donkey kick. It focuses on the quads, hamstrings, and glutes, and shoulders. Anytime your head is down below your heart, very hard exercise. Uh, but it thins the legs, and it's great for dancers because it gives them explosion of power. All the way up. Hands up the All the way up. It's a pretty intense yeah. warm up. I never right, thought sit ups would make me sweat so much. <laughs> I'm doing great. <laughs> Muscles feel pretty good right now. Wanna go another minute? That was wonderful. Good hard workout. It's the night before tryouts and we are just doing a dress rehearsal, running through everything that we'll be doing tomorrow. We're practicing walking on stage in our heels for our little cocktail dress part. We're also practicing walking out for the dancing with our partners. Right now they're practicing their freestyle, which is their last opportunity to show us Everything they have, just leave it on the stage. We just finished day three of our tryout process. We all look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Coming up, the finalists perform at Riverwind Casino and the 2012-2013 Thunder Girls are announced. Being a Thunder Girl is more than just dancing on game nights. We're very involved in the community from book buses to reading timeouts to visiting kids in hospitals. It's just amazing how much we get to do and how involved we are in the community. It's a year-round job and we absolutely love it. Welcome back to the Thunder Girl Summer Special. The final auditions allow the judges to see the girls perform in front of a live audience for the first time. What was that experience like for you? I was definitely nervous, but as soon as I heard the music and knew that my friends and family were out in the audience cheering me on, I just went out there and gave it my all, and it turned out for the best. Now let's take a look at those final auditions. Very exciting. We love the Thunder. I've never tried out for the Thunder Girls before. Um, there's a lot of competition this year, from what I've heard, compared to you know past years. There are a lot of really great girls. I would like to officially welcome you to the 2012-2013 Thunder Girls Dance Team Finals. This year I had a lot more people come out and support me, so it felt really good. We're doing good. We're ready. We're ready to cheer them on. The first routine is going to be a jazz hip-hop routine that they learned actually last Saturday at the preliminary rounds. Give it up. The talent level was so high, even compared to last year, um, that I actually came into auditions wanting a squad of 18, which is a little bit smaller than last year. Last year we had 20. I know, I thought it was going to be easy to do 18, yeah. but then when I saw the talent, I'm yeah, like, mm, we tough. might go back to 20. What are your thoughts on her? She's a great, I mean, she's a great dancer. These two are my favorite out of all four of them. I could have easily taken 30. I mean, that's how talented these girls were. We only have two spots left, and I have eight girls on the table that I equally like. You ready to announce this? Yeah. Normally, I'm filled with advice for the girls that didn't make it backstage, and tonight, I just kind of had to go back there and say, if this is something that you really want, come back and wait for another open spot because you were all that good that I don't have specific advice for you. And that's so tough, it's, it's hard, it's really hard. After a long, emotional week for these young ladies, 
We now have the names of the finalists selected as members of the 2012-2013 Thunder Girls Dance Team presented by Riverwind Casino. Please join me in welcoming the first young lady named to the 2012-2013 Thunder Girls Dance Team. Number one, Letitia. Number 20, Jessica. Number 14, Casey. Number 37, Dominique. Number 13, Kay. Number 24, Kim. Number 10, Haley. Number 32, Marissa. Number 21, Bailey. Number 23, Alexis. Number eight, Jada. Number five, Ashley. Number nine, Whitney. Number 38, Sharika. Number 35, Sarah. Number 28, Kelsey. Number 15, Michelle. Number 19, Jenny. Number 26, Marissa. And the final girl to join the 2012-2013 Thunder Girls Dance Team presented by Riverwind Casino. Number 11, Molly. Congratulations to the 2012-2013 Thunder Girls Dance Team. Thunder Girls are so much more than dancers. In addition to games, practices, and community appearances, they all have jobs or are currently going to school. Juggling their time is one of the hardest things a Thunder Girl has to learn. I'm looking forward to every game and every community service activity that we're going to do. It's going to be a really exciting season, and I'm glad my family gets to watch me as I go through this journey. I think I just really enjoyed the whole experience this year. I just had fun. When I got on the stage tonight, I was like, ah. I'm having fun, I'm dancing, this is great. I love that people are coming out to see me and supporting me. I'm excited too, I can't believe I'm finally a part of this team. Next, on the Thunder Girls Summer Special, we'll bring the thunder to China. What I love so much about community appearances is it really gets me out to interact with the Thunder fans with some of my best friends and my teammates. We get to go really cool places like elementary schools and interact with kids and read books to them or I even got to take a trip back to my high school and talk to the seniors about how important it is to stay in school and pump them up during their pep assembly. And that's just some examples of how exciting it is and how important it is for us Thunder Girls to be out in the community. Welcome back on location to the Thunder Girls Summer Special. For the second year in a row, the Thunder Girls have represented the Thunder in the state of Oklahoma on a trip to China. Jessica was one of those girls. Tell us about your experience. It was such an amazing time. Um, the people there are so friendly. I loved seeing all of the huge buildings and just being immersed in the culture. Um, also, it was awesome to perform for the fans there. That was my very favorite part. Just giving them an NBA experience was awesome and so fun. Let's take a look at the Thunder Girls in China. After six long hours in the Minneapolis airport, we have finally boarded the plane. And we are a row 56 and 57 in the very back. We were invited to China um, by the NBA to be ambassadors not only for the NBA, but also for Oklahoma City. Here we are at rehearsal for the Adidas 5 on 5 tournament. And we're kind of in like a little bamboo jungle. <laughs> we got to meet a lot of NBA fans and Thunder fans while we were there and um, they were so excited to find out that we were the dance team from Oklahoma City. One had on a OKC hat and one did have on Kevin Durant's um, USA jersey. <laughs> Out tours and just seeing the city uh, we were very recognizable as Americans and then 
people would get to know who we were and why we were there. This was my first time to ever even go outside of the country. I have never been to China. This was my first time out of the country. So it was a big one. I had been to Thailand and Cambodia, but I had never been to China. So we went to Shanghai and we were in Shanghai the whole time. One of the things I think I'll always remember about Shanghai and China was just its beauty. Everywhere you look, there's these enormous buildings and we got to visit this area called the Bund. And we are at the Bund, which means waterfront. And we're actually at the Golden Bull Square here in Shanghai. And that is China's version of Wall Street. So behind us right here, we have New Shanghai. And you see that building that looks like a bottle opener? That's their tallest building. And then behind us over here, we have old Shanghai. So you can see all of the really neat architecture. Most of the history is in Beijing, whereas most of the, the metropolitan area is in Shanghai. So we see this amazing skyline. Uh, we rode the world's fastest train. Everyone has umbrellas there. Everyone's dressed in this unique way. My favorite part was we went to the Jade Buddha Temple. And it's one of the three most famous temples in Shanghai. It's really beautiful and we're about to go take a tour. I got to learn so much there. I didn't know much about it and it was really interesting and we really got a taste of the Chinese culture when we went to see it. We learned lots of really cool stuff here. Like they have four Buddhas that, which represent the directions. So there's one for north, south, east, and west. And then each Buddha has its own set of disciples. And then they have their own set of disciples. So we're learning a lot here. One of the events we did was this enormous basketball concert. <laughs> A huge ordeal. We were in this enormous arena and there was all these performances. There were a lot of NBA fans and we ran into some Thunder fans there. They were excited chanting OKC when they saw us. We got to interact with fans and cheer on these basketball players and it was just really cool for us to get to be a part of it. We were at one of the Chinese markets and we ran into somebody in a USA shirt and he was so excited to meet us. It's a great experience um, for them, especially some of them at such a young age. And then it is a bonding experience because um, there's only six of them, so they're together 24 hours a day for the entire 10 days and traveling together, um, rooming together and doing um, appearances together and, and touring this country together. So yeah, it's a great experience that they'll remember forever. Still to come on the Thunder Girls Summer Special, a behind the scenes look at the swimsuit calendar shoot. That was perfect. That's awesome. One more time. Being a Thunder Girl is a lot more than just dancing at games. We actually get to be out in the community a lot every opportunity that we get. I actually got to go back to my hometown and visit the elementary school I went to and read to some kids and, um, you know, talk to them about how important it is to read and stay in school and focus and achieve their goals. The Thunder Girls calendar is always one of the most popular items in the Thunder shop, but a lot of hard work goes into capturing those perfect shots. Here's a behind the scenes look at the making of the Thunder Girls calendar. I think it's so fun to be in front of the camera. That's one aspect I love about being a Thunder Girl is we do get to perform at the games and cheer on our players, but we also get to have our calendar time and it's something I never imagined that I would get to do. Okay, uh, I need you to have lights down. I never would have imagined posing for a calendar, so it's fun to pretend like I'm a bikini model for a day. We're at like such an amazingly beautiful pool. This is definitely one of the nicest pools I've ever seen. It's a Blue Haven pool, and the owners of it are also season ticket members, so it all kind of ties in together, and they've brought us food and drinks and coffee. To, to say that the, uh, the whole team, the whole squad was out here, and I got to see the new girls before anybody else got to see the new girls. That was kind of fun. I've never really done anything like this before. It's definitely my first calendar shoot. I think it's always nerve-wracking for your first thunder shoot, um, or any photo shoot in general. But at the same time, like you're around so many people that are encouraging you, and no matter what, you're going to look great. Let, let's do it again. Get all dressed up in my bathing suit and hair done and makeup done, and it's just been a blast. Not laughing, yeah. 
There's five of us here right now. Um, we spent the day at Anthony David getting ready, doing our hair and our makeup, picking out the swimsuits that we'd be wearing. Uh, then we came out here to the location and we've been shooting different areas, different spots, and just trying to get a good calendar put together. Everything's pretty laid back and it's, yeah, we just go out there and strike a pose. This is my favorite part. I love the calendar shoot. I love getting my hair and makeup done and posing and smiling with my girls. It's so much fun. As a child, I didn't think being in a swimsuit calendar would ever happen to me, but I'm here now, you know, and someday maybe I'll be on the cover. That'd be awesome just to look back and see where I came from and where I am now. It's such an amazing experience that I've been a part of and being in front of the camera is something that I love now. Everything is so amazing and so exciting. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done something like this, and I always like see it on, like I've seen it on TV, and I'm like, oh my gosh, one day I want to be able, you know, to be a Thunder Girl and do that. So it's just so amazing. I feel so lucky. But it's definitely been a lot of fun. It's something that I didn't really expect. Um, you never know how to pose for things like this, but they've been really helpful. The photographer is really good about telling you what poses to do and. Um, how to look? Actually, put your put your thumb right there and just like kind of hold. don't don't curl up, but just like hold it. In. He had me doing lots of poses, kind of on the ground, and then also some standing up. And he always makes me feel really comfortable, so I'm excited um, to see the results. The calendars will go on sale soon, so make sure and check out thunder.mba.com for everything Thunder Girls. We'd like to thank Blue Haven Pools and Spas for allowing us to shoot on location. Thanks again for joining us for the Thunder Girls Summer Special.